been live. Um, I have missed everyone so dearly. Um, let me know if you can hear me in the comments below. Um, I hope everyone is having a great week. Let's see if I can pull it up. Let's see. Everything is good. Hello. Can everybody hear me? Everybody hear me? Oh, I guess so. Okay. Oh, I guess so. Okay. Alright. So um if you're new here and didn't know, we let me get rid of that. Okay. We moved to Florida and it has been forever since I've done it live. I can't wait to show you guys. Hello everybody. Hey Roseanne and Barb. Um, let's see. Oh, they're going so fast. Um, it's been forever since we did a live and here's my new studio. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm still waiting on a few things. Um, but it's almost done and I wanted to see how you guys were doing. I'm doing a little holiday prep. I'm trying to get my Etsy shop ready for the holiday season. I feel so behind. Um, let me know what you're working on in the comments. I'd love to know, are you doing Halloween? Or are you skipping right to Christmas? Like, let me know what you're working on and, um, let's share some tips and tricks on, like, how you're getting ready for the holiday season. Like, do you have a certain date you list things by? Um, do you have some best-selling items? So let me know in the comments below, okay? So let me show you while everyone's hopping on some things um, that I got to kind of get started in the fall mood, the fall and Christmas mood. Um, so let's start with let me see if I can keep track of the comments here. Y'all chat with me today. I feel like I haven't talked to anybody in forever. Let's see. Roseanne. Let's see. Nancy says she's got Halloween going. Still haven't done embroidery samples, though. I need to get those done so I can start working on other holidays. I know. I feel like I'm going to post like one or two Halloween things just to say I did it and then move on to Christmas and Thanksgiving. Let's see. Y'all want to take a sneak peek of something? I'm going to show you. Okay. Real quick. I don't have blinds up yet. So whoop. There's, I have a pink door. I painted my door pink. Let's see, can you see my new sign too? That's from a, um, a mompreneur, she has an Etsy shop, it's a wood sign. Um, oh, I forget the name, but I'll link it um, later. Let's see. Barb says she stitched out freestanding lace bookmarks. Oh, I have never done freestanding lace before. It seems so cool in patches. Made school shirts for the grandkids. That's awesome. Okay. Maria says she's been remodeling and doesn't look like she'll be able to open her shop this year. I feel you, girl. That remodeling is tough. Um, so um, you'll see more when I do my full studio tour. Sorry, I'm giving y'all like whiplash. That's the last time I'm turning it. But so we moved into our new house and there was mold in my bathroom. So they had to rip it all out and give, get my bathroom all fixed. And I was like general contractor. All of these people had to come in and out of our house and like get all the mold out. We had all the dryers and it was a mess. So it took a lot longer for me to get our my craft room all set up because I had to really worry about the rest of the house. So, okay, let's see what everyone's doing. Let's see. Okay, but it's better now. It's fine. It's good. Everything's clean. So let me show you what I got. So first, I got a little um, tag gun. I want to start putting my own tags on all the products I embroider and stuff. So 
Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. I want to make some tags either I'm going to get some printed or make my own with silhouette. Uh, I got to get a silhouette. Or some stickers. I don't know. It's the back of the mind. Okay, so as you know, pictures are important. So I got some props to do my holiday pictures. Look at this. This was on sale. This was in the party section at Hobby Lobby for $1.24. It's like a uh, buffalo check. It was in the like uh, lumberjack party. And this is like a little birthday banner. I thought that would be adorable in the photos. Let's see. Roseanne says she's gonna look. Oh, you have a tag gun and love it. I know. I'll have to figure out how to use it. Roseanne, where do you get your tags? Do you um, get them made somewhere? Do you make them yourself? Oh, I have been wanting some of these for the longest time. These are, this was from the Christmas shop at Hobby Lobby. These are just little felt balls that everyone has in their pictures. I'm so happy to be back, guys. I have missed doing embroidery so much. Okay, look at these for Halloween. This was in the fall section. This was from Hobby Lobby as well. Oh, I can't wait to take some amazing pictures. Um... Oh, thank you, A Notion to Sew. That is so kind. And I had to have some wood beads. So this was from the fall section at Hobby Lobby as well. And then I got my daughter helped me pick this one out to go like in the side of the picture. This little wreath pick. And then I got some little tchotchkes. and a pine tree. I don't know. So to go in the edge of the picture to give it something. Oh, Nancy, I was so nervous before getting on here. It's been a long time. It's a little nerve-wracking doing a live. Okay, but thank you. Okay, so let's see. Um, and so I wanted to show you, I have not ordered from Blank's Boutique since it was 2017. So it has been forever and just ARD Blank's and um, Love That Cotton were kind of out of the colors I wanted. So I wanted to show you some stuff in case you've never sampled their Blank's before. Um, they're pretty awesome. Oh, and if you're just hopping on, let me know what you're working on or what... If you don't have an Etsy shop, that's fine. You can still tell me what you're working on. But what holiday are you on? Have you went to Halloween? Are you on Christmas yet? Let, let us share our tips and tricks for the holiday season. Okay, so I got your basic white. I'm sorry if it's crunchy if you can hear it. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the cool, like, different colors that no one offers. This is Slate Blue from Blank's Boutique. Janie is working on a Halloween shirt. Um, this is Jade. Oh my gosh, I have so many ideas for this Jade. Um, it just screams fall to me, so like, look at that. Oh, I can't wait, this is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I got navy, orange, purple, ivory. I'm a sucker for ivory. And there's sublimation blanks. I wanted to try out um, their sublimation blanks. So first impressions super stretchy. It feels good. Um, it's not super thin. Let me see. I don't have a laughing giraffe one out, but sometimes the laughing giraffe felt thin. So um, this is 70% polyester, 30% cotton. So I'm excited to try it, see how it washes. Um, I like the puff sleeve, or the, this sleeve 
better than the elastic sleeve. My daughter hates the, um, this sleeve. She hates it. And when you are heat pressing, this sleeve can melt. So, um, for sure, sublimation, I'm probably going to start ordering the ones um, with the puff sleeve because this was always, I was worried about it melting. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. Um, oh, I'm pixelated and blurry. Let's see. Can anyone else see? I should be okay. It doesn't look blurry on my end, but let me know. Um, again, my first time live streaming in a while. Sorry, I'm not looking. Here we go. Let's see. Your printer does it good on ink. I'm thinking of getting one. I think I went, so I haven't turned it back on, so that's going to be an adventure in itself because I don't know if I have any ink left. Has it dried out? Um, but I think I did like 60 prints and um, it was a little over half the tank was gone. So the ink is expensive, but it is beautiful. I mean, it's, um, in my opinion, I love, okay, not blurry to Janie. Okay, not blurry. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm excited to try their sublimation blanks, uh, Blanks Boutique. I want to try ARV blanks. As well, have y'all tried um, besides Laughing Giraffe? What other um, sublimation blanks have you tried? So they have like three different color pinks. The blank boutique they have a light pink, like a bubblegum pink, and a hot pink. So I'm gonna try all those. And then I got uh, black for Halloween, and then I got a um, boy sublimation shirt so I'm going to try that so I've had so many colors to try I'm just going to make a whole bunch of samples and see what sells and try to think outside of the box for the holidays so I saw a cute Thanksgiving shirt on Jade the color like I'm going to try to think of different colors to use than your typical red and green for Christmas or orange and brown for Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to think outside the box because I know stock might be an issue. So that's my thoughts guys. So we'll see how that goes. 29 people joining us. Hello to everyone jumping on. Let's see. I'll look this way. Hi. Do you think that we have to buy a long sleeve shirt? So we, whoop, did I go out for a second? Okay, let me um, jump back on real quick. Let me plug in. Hold on one second. I'm still here, guys. Here we go. Let's get some power. Let's see. Are we still here, people? Okay. We still here? Okay. Where do you buy your monogram? Fonts. I only make things for girls, but I want to make pillows. So I just bought a ton before the slide. That's why I was a little late. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> he just sent me a text message. Oh my goodness. That was so embarrassing. Sorry, Dad. Um, now I'm all flustered. Okay. Uh, let's see. So Dania said... Do you think that we have to buy a long sleeve shirt? I'd offer both because a lot of people live in the South and it's going to be hot at Thanksgiving and Christmas, especially in Florida where I am, so I'm going to offer both. Um, but depending on where you are and where your customers come from, you can kind of see on Etsy who buys your stuff. Um, so maybe offer both. Just upcharge a little bit for that long sleeve. Barb says, up here in, oh, I'm really going to have to do my states here, Minnesota? Long sleeves. Let's see. Minnesota, I got it. All right. There we go. Fifth grade social studies. Okay. So, um...
Where, okay, back to Laura. She said, where do you like to buy your monogram fonts? Comment, everybody, where you like to buy. Um, I used to applique corner, but I don't know what's going on with them. Um, Embroidery Boutique is one of my favorites. Um, there's a few places, and I'll have to link them below. Um, Apex Embroidery. They have some beautiful um, monogram, just classic, great stitch out fonts. Speaking of, I have my machines ready. We can stitch out some things too. Um, let's see. Down home Wendy, where in Florida are you? Um, let's say north, northeast. Florida, like towards St. Augustine, that's what I'll say, so area, but we love it here, it's been awesome, okay, so let's get to stitching, oh yes, itch to stitch, Donna said, Hope said, Stitchtopia, um, those are all awesome. Somebody's calling me, I'm sorry, let's see. Okay, oh yes, Barb says, Fancy Fonts, Schuler Studio. Now, Schuler Studio, oh, they're expensive, but they are beautiful monogram fonts. So, depending on how fancy your pillows are going to be, um, Laura, um, would, you might want to invest. They're like $59, $69 for their fonts, but they're really pretty. Baby K's, Designs by Juju. Okay, so... Um, let's see, what else? Y'all have any more questions before I get the machines going? I know it's kind of loud when I get stitching. Um, Y'all see my new little workstation? I'm going to do a full tour here soon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Nancy's not far, just above the line. Okay, so what are your tips? As for those of you that sell, like, what are your tips for the holiday season? What are your cutoff, cutoff dates? Um, I know everyone has different things that they do. Do you stitch up until, like, Christmas Eve? Or, um, let's see. Hello, Diamond. <laughs> Me, hello, Charlotte. That's where we used to live, so that's awesome. Okay, well, let's get to stitching. I bought some new fonts from Etsy, and I'm going to stitch them out a little bit. So let's just keep chatting. Um, ask me any questions you have um, in the chat. Okay, Nancy said it's a first year selling, so I'm interested in the answer to the question. So for me personally, I was think when I'm in the thick of it, really, really selling, I think I did like around the 10th, 11th, 13th, whatever, the second week of December. That was my cutoff and nothing after. Oh my goodness, Hope stitched up until December 20th. Sheesh, you go girl. Okay, Evelyn is in Fort Myers. And you can let me know in the comments where you're watching from. I would love to know. Okay, so let me get... Oh, let me show you my new fabric. Okay, I can't help but my buy more fabric at Hobby Lobby. It's just so cute. Look at this jean colored fabric. I was thinking like scarecrows or I don't know. It just screamed fall to me. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking straight at it. Sheena says... She's in Kentucky, New York. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. So Roseanne says the Schuler Studios fonts are impeccable, worth the price tag. And I figured they were because they look stunning. Um, Nancy says, oh, it went away. Depend on how busy you are. My shop is super slow for the 4th of July, and I sold all the way up until July 1st. You go, girl. Okay. 
Carmen's from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, look at this one. This is from Hobby Lobby. I really had to dig for this one, but I have some ideas um, for this. I think I had this one in mind or this one. Oh, either one would be so good. This is the jade and this is the slate. Alabama. All right. Y'all, sometimes my country really comes out. I have to watch myself. So, okay. This is like, um, this is from Hobby Lobby too. It's almost like a deer or like a little fawn pattern. Um, I was just super impressed. Of course, this it wasn't on sale. So I got a fourth of a yard of everything just to get me through to make some samples. Okay, this. I just, it, it screamed fall to me. Again, Hobby Lobby. And then these are some fun different textures for um, ghosts or Halloween pumpkins. Okay, Mississippi. All right, so let's get to stitching. So I'm going to twirl you around. So take your drum, Romaine. Here we go. Let's see if I can get a good view. Sorry, guys. You're getting up close, personal of my pores. Okay. So keep asking questions while I set this up. Um, okay. Question for everybody, what's your favorite holiday to stitch for? Let me know, I'll tell you mine in just a second. Give me one minute. Let's see what I'm gonna stitch on today. Can y'all see me? Let's see. I know, I have to restrain myself at Hobby Lobby. It was bad, especially with the fabric. Not being on sale. Oh my gosh. There was so much. Okay. Let's see. Let me go get some fabric from my closet. Hold on one second. It's still here. This will do. Okay, let's see what everyone's saying. Christmas and Valentine's Day. You know what? I hate to say it, but Valentine's Day I always just take off. I always come back at Easter. I don't know what it is. I've never done a New Year's shirt. And I just I get worn out. Oh, I know. I keep stalking um, all my favorite like Alphalicious and Bordery Boutique, like I have like a list of things I want to buy when it goes on sale. Um, I'll still buy it if I need it, but I'm still waiting for that good sale before I stitch a whole bunch of things. Sheena's favorite is Halloween. Oh, Easter and Christmas for Down Home Wendy. Okay. Okay. So let me move my table over. Hold on one second. new fonts. I bought the coveted Melanie font from River Mill Embroidery. You can look it up on Etsy. It's the one with the swirly on the front and the swirly on the end. I just had to have it. So um, I'm going to try to do more adult things this season. Um, I'm trying to like broaden from just kids stuff. So we shall see. Um, my computer decided not to I was, I had a few things I was going to stitch out, but I decided to scrap, crash, that's why I was a few minutes 
going behind. What's everyone saying? I'm gonna probably need some stabilizer. That would probably help out a little bit. I'm still trying to get used to all my stuff where everything is. Should have scissors. Nope, not there. My little ones are starting school and my little girl will be starting school soon so I'm excited I'll be able to do some like lunchtime lives and I'm hoping to start doing like two to three videos a week um, so I'm excited to get that started again I'm just gonna do some cutaway I actually have like this white fleecy stuff I usually do felt but I don't have a big enough piece so do this. So I've just got a few fonts that I've just bought and I want to add some fresh fonts to my Etsy shop because I feel like I stitch the same monogram fonts and fonts all the time. Don't you always have like your go-to's? And I want a new go-to. I feel like it's been, pump it's called Pumpkin Spice. I feel like it's the ballerina font, oh. but i got to loosen this up a little bit. This is not ideal height for hooping, but that's okay. I'm struggling here, guys. I did a huge order of polos last week oh my gosh it kicked my behind doing all the logos on um, like the left um center you know the chest logos um just using my embroidery ruler definitely gonna invest in one of those like hoop master hoopers where you can just make it press the easy button pretty much because shoo like figuring out where the two oh i'm sorry fuzzier going over where the two x then the the then doing a medium, it was, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna tell you what the fonts are as soon as I get on the machine. Give me one second. So what other, let's see. So the Melanie from River Mill Embroidery and then I have a new one called Chain Stitch from Apex Embroidery. Um, they have some amazing fonts, and if you join their Facebook group, they give away so many free things. So, like that one was a freebie a few weeks ago. Um, so, join their Facebook group because they give away so many free things. It's amazing. But you know what? I always use them for my digitizing. I used them like a week or two ago to do a logo. So, keeps them top of mind for sure. Um, so, I've got a lot of samples. I spend more time, I think, looking and figuring out which designs I'm going to do versus just going ahead and doing it. So, my goal for this weekend is to just get a whole bunch of samples made, stop thinking, and just do it. Right? Okay. Sorry. There we go. Let me see what everyone's saying. Okay, so Laura, I'm just working on some fonts I bought off of Etsy. I'm, I'll link them. Um, Melanie from River Mill Embroidery, and then um, I think it's called Chain Sticks from Apex Embroidery. Um, Barb loves her Hoop Master for sure logos. Oh my gosh, that's next on my list to get. I'm getting the Mighty Hoop so I can do applique shirts um, on the Melco, and I want to get a clamp system for the brother. You know, um, it's hard to explain. It's not a fast frame. It's a clamping system. So I'm going to get that and probably a Mighty Hoop for that as well. 
Um, Sheena, the Facebook group, if you just search Apex Embroidery Designs, um, they have a Facebook group and they share a freebie every day. And some of them are just like little designs and some days they're fonts. So make sure you join their group. Okay, so let's get this started. If y'all saw my last video, I thought I broke my machine, my Melco. I did not, but it was super scary. I was doing leather or vegan leather or faux leather for the first time and that was, oh, my heart sunk. Okay, so I'm just gonna set up my stuff. Let's see, what else? Um, so let me tell you some quick things while that's loading. Things I've learned about living in Florida is um, umbrellas don't work because it just rains and storms and to keep towels in your car because you're just gonna get soaked and then you have to like wipe everything off and then wipe your car off. So we love living here. It's just, it's hilarious. Just the rainstorms just pop up out of nowhere and you just get drenched. So, okay. I'm gonna just open my um, design up. Let's see. Sorry, again. Move this a little closer. Yeah, I figured you guys needed to see me failing too because I mess up all the time. Oh my goodness. So, um, let's see. Let's get this done real quick. Hold on one second. Um, oh, I didn't save it. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Might have been on my pink one. Let's see. Hmm. Well, save on my USB drive. That dog. Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking. Give me one second. USB drive, but we shall see. We might not want to do it, so I might have to either stop the lab real quick or let's see. Do y'all have any more questions or do you want me to stop it real quick and come back to stitch? What do you, what's the vote? Oh, I can see the back of my hair, guys. Woo! It's a mess. Need it done so bad. Let's see. <laughs> Roseanne hides the mess ups. I, it's such a, I'm still learning new things all the time. I mean, it's crazy. Um, and there's still things I've never tried to embroider. I've been too scared. Um, and I still, so do you guys take other customers' items or do you just provide the items for them? Because that's where I'm kind of at a, so I embroidered on um, 
eight or nine polos um, for a school and um, there were they got them from like Academy Sports they were a little you know thinner and I went to see if like I could buy more just in case I messed up on any and they were sold out and they needed them um, like ASAP so I just and she got to work in and oh I held my breath the whole time it was so stressful but luckily no there was a stitch or two um, like one had a little stitch and you just, I just fixed it real quick and that thank the whew, thank you Lord it didn't uh, I I don't know what I would have done if I would have messed up their polos um, before school so have y'all messed up a customer's item that's what I've, oh, I'm so scared to do that um, I usually turn down things that are irreplaceable or that are too expensive for me to buy back like um, I've turned down like Vera ba Bradley bags because they were just I couldn't <coughs> um, oh, one sec I need a drink A notion to sew so she brought she just finished a couple items for a customer who brought 18 towels a baptism blanket and a canvas tote Whoa, mercy I'd be scared about the baptism blanket but okay you go girl that's awesome um, and it's not like we intentionally mess it up but you know, a lint could be stuck in somewhere and then the bobbin mess up and then, oh my gosh. So, it's so hard because you don't want to turn away money because those, just the logo, um, just your basic business branding is good money and you just, it just repeats. It's not like you have to personalize um, each item. It just is the same logo over and over and over again. Um, it's just a little more stressful when it's not your item is their item. Okay, Roseanne does the dance studio state trooper uniforms. Oh, I'd be so scared to mess those up. And engineering logos for two separate companies. Okay, Roseanne, what's your favorite stabilizer for polos? Because I tested all the types of um, stabilizers, so let me know what you use. I'd love to give your expert get your expertise. Okay, Barb says she gets her customers to sign a waiver um, if it's their items. Otherwise, I order the blanks. That's a good idea, Barb. Because, whew. That's awesome. Hello, Heidi. Welcome. Um, I was going to embroider something, but my USB drive is all wonky. So... Okay, two ounce cutaway, it's good. Sometimes if they're thinner, I use two sheets. Okay, let's see. I'm debating, let's see. If I should embroider. What do you think? Should I end the live real quick and design on in brilliance and then stitch out and come back? Or would y'all just like to keep chatting? Let me know what your vote is below. Um, again, I had stuff to stitch, but it didn't save um, my USB and my brilliance kind of shut off. Probably because I downloaded 10 fonts right before the live. Um, if not, I hope to be doing at least one to two lives a week. Um, starting once my kids are fully back in school. Um, it'll probably be around lunchtime. I'll probably do live at lunch and we can like work together um, and hang out and talk. Um, I'm going to be making a lot of samples probably tonight and this weekend so you'll probably see a work with me video. Um, just showing what I made with all the blanks that I showed you and the fabrics I got. 
Um, so I've been debating. Let me know what you do. Do you do children's stuff? Do you do adult things? Do you do like corporate business? Um, I'm trying to decide really what niche or niche or whatever it's called I want to be in. Um, home decor. Like I don't, I know they say you need to really hone down what you want to do and just have one thing going on in your Etsy shop, but it's so hard for my brain to just say one thing. So let me know, do you do just one thing, one niche, or do you do lots? Okay, so, oh, hey, Ashley. I've been watching your videos. You are doing so good, girl. Um, Country View Monograms, she's awesome. Um, we Quilt Studio, did your Melko have a big enough, I'm guessing that's hoop space, to quilt in the hoop? Um, I've never done a quilt in the hoop, but I'm sure, so this is, this is just like the generic hoop that comes with it, and then, Can't even get it up. <laughs> I don't know how big you're looking to get, but this is the XL hoop. And, uh, oh, hold on, guys. Look at that. So, I mean, if I don't know how big you need to go, um, but the XL hoop is pretty big. It is. I wish. Let's see. Usually, it's written on. I don't know the exact dimensions. So let's see. But it's pretty big. Um, I'm planning on doing a shower curtain. A big old monogram on a shower curtain. So I'm excited for that. And I'm going to see what else I can do um, with this. Or a jean jacket. I have an idea for my Etsy shop for an adult jean jacket. And I want to see if this will work or if I need a money hoop. Um, so... Stay tuned for that. Okay, let's see what everyone's saying. Oh, harp space. Oh, I have no clue what that is. Um, so, I don't know. I bet Ron will be able to answer your question. He's my Melko guy. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go back up a little bit. The Crafty Puerto Rican, hello. Okay, so back up a little bit. Oh, and make sure you give me a like, guys. Um, since it's been so long since I've done a video, I don't know how many likes. Oh, only three likes. My mercy, y'all, go like this video, please. Okay, so um, Roseanne uses a no-show. We were talking about what you do for the polos or like left chest logo. Um, stabilization. I always get self-conscious about stabilizer. I don't know. It's just, I don't know if it's just me or everybody else. She uses iron on no-show poly mesh and uses a tearaway. And then she did what I did. This is what I did. Was the two, two layers of mesh in two different directions. So that's what I did on the polo. So I'm hoping they look good. They stay looking good through the washes. Um, I did kind of like a crisscross of the mesh. And I know everyone says use cutaway, but I love good poly mesh. So, okay. Megan does kids, women's, and gifts. Okay, Megan, do you have one Etsy shop or do you like separate it? Um, Hope says it's very hard. Most people say the money is making items for the kids. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to test. So what I plan on doing is making samples and seeing which one takes off in my shops. Um, and then go with that one. Um, still maybe keep them available for people to buy, but really hit hard 
on whichever one gets the most traction. Okay. Oh, the space behind the hoop. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Um, I don't know about that. I'm not a quilter, so you, you might want to reach out to Ron about that question with the harp space for quilting. Does anyone else have a Melco and quilt on their Melco? Let's see. Roseanne says baby items are her favorite. Um, Barb works with the sports leagues in school spirit wear items for corporations in area business and custom sewing alterations. Um, oh, good. I know she just sewed 22 likes. Thank you. It must still be lagging behind. On. Okay, yay! Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, mine's only showing three, so thank you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, I like a good iron on poly mesh, Roseanne. Let's see. Yes, I have one mighty hoop and it got worked so hard doing those left chest polos um, like oh my gosh so this one's a dream I think I'm gonna do the what's your favorite size for applique shirts is it the 10 by 13 or the 8 by 9 because um, I want to make sure I can use it for adults too do you think the bigger one is not able to be used for the like a 2 t-shirt let me know your favorite Mighty Hoop size. Um, and if you have like a favorite for adult like t-shirts. So they have one that's like super long. Um, kind of like the fast frame. The 12 by 14 type. Um, okay. Brother space. I feel like from I was watching somebody's video and they have the, the 10 needle brother. And that one might be a quilting one. You might have to look it up. Um, you probably can contact um, Sewing Machines Plus. They have a ton of stuff and they might, they have like the long arm quilters and um, that sort of thing. They might be able to answer your question because it'd be really cool if you could embroider and quilt on something. But I am not a quilter. My grandmother was a quilter. If you didn't know, that's where I got my love of fabric. Um, my grandma used to work in a quilt shop and she made all of my mother's clothes and her brother's clothes. <clears throat> Sorry. It's been a while since I've talked this much. So, every summer we'd go up and I'd visit her at the quilt shop where she was working and I'd touch all the fabrics. So that's where I got my love of fabrics. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have similar stories. Um, but, let's see. 10 by 10, okay. Country View Monograms. Ashley uses the 8 by 9 hoop. The Mighty Hoop. Um, I do not use Country View Monograms with Ashley says I do not use the 8 by 9 in smaller than 3T girls or 2T boys. Okay, so Country View Monograms with Ashley, what do you use? So do you use the 8x9 and then what do you use on the bigger shirts? Do you use the 10x10 10 10 or you just kind of do two hooping? Okay, down home when you just bought the 9x6, I'm trying to visualize that, 9x6 for body suit. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to really explore. 
So for those of you that have like the hooping station, the hoop master hooping station for the, I think I hear my little one, um, the logo pockets, do you think it's worth, I think it was like $500 or more. Is it worth the investment? Does it save you that much time? Or can I just get away with my embroidery ruler and just suck it up and just measure it out every time? Let me know if you have the hoop, the hoop master thing. Patty, I am close. We're in St. Augustine, so you're super close. Okay, Roseanne, oh, Barb said, I started sewing when I was nine, and, and in 4-H, I was fortunate her mom was an avid sewer quilter, and she's been sewing for 51 years. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I love to sew, and I love to sew my daughter things, but I don't think I could sell, um, because I'm, I'm the type of, um, person likes to be creative and eyeball things and I feel like that's why I love applique because you can just kind of think on the fly seam allowances and having to be so precise um, selling sewn items would not be good for me they'd be all wonky so okay country view monograms said she uses the 8 by 12 brother hoops and the 8x13 Mighty Hoop, but she doesn't care for it. Oh, on the Brothers, you only have a 7-inch stitch field. That's right. Yeah. Forgot about that. And y'all know I have loved my fast springs. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Should I stick with the fast frames or go Mighty Hoops? Because the only problem is with... With the fast frames, I use the sticky. I don't, um, so it's kind of like double stabilizer. And sticky is expensive-ish. I don't know. So many decisions. Let's see. Barb uses the 8x13 for hockey jersey names. Okay. The aftermarket magnetic hoops have a lower center. So then you lose stitching area. Huh. I'm trying to think if there's anything else cool. Um, like I said, I'm sorry if the stitch job didn't my USB didn't load but I will like condense it and then I'll be able to link everything and show you the exact font name and all the fonts of where I got it from um, in my it'll probably work along with me video because um, I'm gonna make lots of samples because um, I think it's important to keep your colors fresh your fonts fresh and keep up with the um, styles and fabrics <laughs> I was folding my fabric the other day and I was folding all the, sh I have bolts and, or not bolts, but yards and yards of chevron fabric. I'm still waiting for it to come back in style. I'm hoping it does because I have so much of it. And as soon as I get rid of it, it'll come back in style. So I'm just going to hold on to it just for a little bit. Okay. Okay, so Barb uses the Mighty Hoops fast frames and the regular fast frames and painter's tape to attach the stabilizer. Not a fan of sticky. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to change my ways, guys. I love good old sticky. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Let me show you some. Let me show you some fall fabric. Let's 
see. I'm trying to think. I might just end it here because I don't want to keep y'all too long since my uh, USB didn't work. But let's see if anyone has any other questions. Are the Mighty Hoops hard to use with the polo shirts? No, um, I just kind of aligned it with the the center um, and made sh I did have to kind of go like this. So I would say using the hooping station m probably would be a lot easier. Um, but I just kind of measured and I had a guide, but it was like four to six inches over, seven or six to nine inches down, depending on the size. And I would just measure and kind of move. Um, it up and then I would clamp it with the mighty hoop um, and I had the stabilizer in it I didn't use fusible with the um, it was like a dry fit polo and it didn't I didn't want to burn it because again I didn't have any more so it seemed to work fine not um, fusing it to it let's see Okay, Barb's convinced me I need the hooping station. Okay, let's see. So I haven't hooked up my sublimation printer since we moved, so I'm curious to see if it still works, if it's still got ink, and that sort of thing. Have y'all tried sublimation yet? Are you um, diehard embroidery people out there? Um, I kind of am trying to think of what videos you guys want to see next. Do you like work along with me, or do you want tutorials? Um, I just bought an Indahoo, oh, let me show you. Hold on one second. I'm still here. Okay, so I just bought from, I think it's called So Sweetly Stitched, an In The Hoop um, birthday banner. So I've been practicing methods. Of course, this one's terrible because I was just, I didn't want to read the directions. I just kind of um, winged it, but it's got little buttonholes and you put the ribbon, it would say one on it. So I'm excited. I'll do a tutorial on that one coming up. Um, it's got a little birthday hat. I gotta put the pom pom on. So that's like a little set. That one is from, I think it's called Sweetly Stitched Embroidery on Etsy. I'll link it when I do the tutorial. Let's see. Okay. Barb has the Epson for sublimation. I've heard good things about it. Um, I love sublimation. It's fun. It's a little nerve-wracking too. So, yeah. And then I did. I bought a in the hoop stroller tag um, for like your Disney trips or for like the theme parks where you put on your stroller. Um, so I'm hoping to do a tutorial on that. I love in the hoop projects. I don't know why. Um, if I can do it in the hoop, I just that I prefer that than sewing. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought an in the hoop bow holder. Um, so many fun things to do that you could sell. I'm trying to think of things that you don't have to keep stock of because as you know, everything going on in the world, stock and sizing and um, shipping delays. I was trying to think of things I could make and sell um, that I didn't have to rely on someone else. I could just grab some fabric and make it myself. So do you have any projects like that that you can think of that you love to do? I did my bibs before. You've seen it, one of those. Um, let's see. For printing transfers. Oh, see, I have seen more of that, the white toner. Okay, Barb, how much is a um, printer like that? Is that like the DTF printers like Nita Fajita has or um, 
is it different? Because um, I, that's the only thing I don't like about sublimation is you can't do on dark um, or you can't do on cotton. There is a sublimation called, I think it's called Easy Subly, or is that the different one? There's one you can do on cotton. I'm not sure if you can do white though, so let's see. Um, or is it like a D, is OKI like a um, DTG printer? Because, let's see. Okay, Barb. Barb's got some toys over there. She's got a sublimation. Oh my goodness. Okay, so add that to the list. Bye, Roseanne. Thank you for joining us. And I think we'll probably wrap up too. I'm just going to go through any questions. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry um, my USB didn't work, but we'll do a... Um, have we been on here for an hour? Oh my God. It went by so quick. <laughs> Bye, Roseanne. Thank you. And thank you to everyone for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it because I feel terrible. My USB didn't work. Um, I'll make sure to have everything up so we can stitch some things. But it was nice to talk. I have missed talking with everybody um, and chatting back and forth. So this has been nice. Let's see. So yeah, um, be on the lookout for work with me. I'm going to do a whole craft room tour. Let me give you a little sneak peek for those of you that are just joining. Whoop, don't see that. I'm waiting for blinds. My poor neighbors. Oh my gosh. They see me up at 3 or 4 a.m. because there's no blinds on that window yet. And I know they think I'm a crazy lady working up. Um, let's see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And be on the lookout. I'm going to show you some new fonts and some new designs um, for fall and Christmas. Because i got to get on the Christmas. Because um, it's going to sneak up on us. So thank you so much for watching. I've missed you guys. I'm glad to be back. And um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye to everyone. Thank you for commenting and being so kind. Bye. I don't know how to turn it off now. <laughs> Bye, everybody.